faith. The word faith in the New Testament is a translation from a Greek root word. The verb form is believe. So we have these two inseparable words, faith and belief. Some of the ways faith tells us that God exists comes to us in observing the wonders of the world around us. We see a beautiful flower, a butterfly, a hummingbird, or a sunset, and we come to understand that some greater power is responsible for this. Some people see evidence of God in the life and teachings of Jesus. Some may perceive God in the gift of life, in the miracle of birth. Some see evidence of God in the unselfish love of Jesus. So faith is the belief that God is always by our side, in good times and in bad times. Faith is also the important understanding that while we live on this earth, our real home is in heaven with God. So even as people we know and love pass away, and even when death comes to us, our faith tells us that we believe God is still with us on this journey from our earthly home to our heavenly home. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather together today to give you thanks and praise your greatness. May our eyes and ears be open to your message of faith. We ask that our faithfulness to you be strong at all times. May our faith be full and unreserved, penetrating everything we do in service to you and others. Let our faith be joyful and give peace and gladness to our spirits. May we be always humble in accepting your teachings on how to grow in our walk of faith. Help us be steadfast in our trust of you, no matter the challenges we face. And show us how to be as faithful to you as you have been to us. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. No gracious words we hear. From him who spoke as none had spoke, yet we believe him near. We may not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod, but in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord, my God. Psalm 63. So I look to you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory. For your love is better than life. My lips offer you worship. I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands, calling your name. My soul shall savor the rich banquet of praise. With joyous lips, my mouth shall honor you. When I think of you upon my bed, through the night watches, I will recall that you indeed are my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. My soul clings to you fast. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life will come to ruin. They shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be handed over to the sword and become the prey of jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. 
All who swear by the Lord shall exult, but the mouths of liars will be shut. Today we celebrate Veterans Day. It is a day to thank those who served in the military to protect our country and the freedoms we enjoy. But sometimes democracy demands sacrifice. Sometimes those who serve have to fight in battles where they may die and others on both sides will surely die. When you're a soldier in combat facing an enemy who wants to kill you, it's hard to understand that God forbids us to kill other human beings. And Jesus constantly emphasized that we are to see every person on earth as our sister or brother and to love them as Jesus loved us. We realize that our being in that place of danger is the result of various world government leaders refusing to seek or accept God's command and Jesus' message. They seek to take from the innocent, the poor. They seek power and wealth for themselves, and they have little or no regard for the lives of the people they govern. And so, soldiers on both sides find themselves in this terrible moral conflict of taking another human being's life and possibly losing their own. This was the situation King David found himself in when he wrote the 63rd Psalm. He knew that God would not abandon him. He knew he was doing the things that God wanted him to do for justice and for peace for his people. And though he had faith and believed he would achieve victory, he proclaims that no matter his success, he would forever give thanks to God and be forever faithful to do God's will. And so we give thanks to all who wore the uniforms of our country and pray for their well being, their well being in mind, body, and spirit. Our response today is, Lord, hear our prayer for our country, that the values of life and liberty may truly be our watchwords. Guide all those who are called to lead and advocate for us. We pray to the Lord. For those who provide public service, inspire our leaders, teachers, doctors, social workers and counselors to be bringers of hope in all situations. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and especially those affected by COVID-19 and their families, that they are cared for with the compassion and love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For the lonely, Watch over all those who feel isolated and alone. Calm their fears and lead them into peace. We pray to the Lord. Finally, we bring to mind our St. Thomas Faith Community. Inspire and watch over all those who lead and serve. Heal those who struggle physically, mentally, or spiritually. Pray for any in our faith community that we know to be in need. May love and goodness fill their lives. We pray to the Lord. Glory of the coming of the Lord. He is 
his trampling of the vintage where the grapes of Rapa stored. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his terror box with sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make us holy, let us live to make all free. While God is marching.